Hey, if you've heard of Scrivener, but its complexity kind of intimidates you, then you're in luck. I'm going to be breaking down Scrivener into little digestible bites so you can maximize the software to write amazing stories. Hey friends, let's talk about the styles feature. And by talk, I mean I talk and you leave comments down below, ask me questions, or tell me about your favorite Scrivener features. So over here in Scrivener, um, I've kind of just got things at the default. And Scrivener defaults to Paltino 13 without italic or bolding. It has a half, half an inch um, indent when you start a new paragraph by default. This is kind of what we're talking about today, the styles, the paragraph styles. You can see we've got quite a few in here. So if we just select inside the, the text of what, whatever we want to change the style of, click up here, and let's call it an attribution. So it, you can see it kind of changes it. Um, it changed the size, it's now size 12, and it changed its alignment. So now it's right aligned instead of left aligned. So let's see what this one is. So no style, okay, come up here. Let's change it to a block quote. So again, change the size. Let's change this to no stuff. You can just kind of see a little bit of a difference in here. This one, as you um, compare it to this one, so we can see that this has this half an inch indentation, but then as we type down and it goes down here, it would come over here. But this one will not. It will just line up straight down in one straight line right here as the block quote. So let's change that. Heading one, ba boom, okay. So it's bold, it's all the way to the left, and it's a different big size. So um, I mean, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you can kind of get the idea of what the style or the paragraph styles are all about. But um, I mean, what if you don't like these? <laughs> what if you want something different? We can do that. Come open up the styles panel, which is just clicking this drop down button and go all the way to the bottom, show styles panel. So pop up, you can drag it around and kind of move it and stuff. Let's say that we want our headings to be different than this. I want my headings to be a different font. So um, I'm going to change the whole heading, you know, example. So this is, all right, there we go. This is my heading. So highlight that whole thing and let's pick a different font. Let's make it. Okay, and uh, we're not going to change anything about that. Um, and for the size, we'll make it 36. So it's big. All right. So while that is, you know, we can leave it highlighted or just select in here somewhere. So we're going to right click on that and redefine paragraph style from selection. So I had clicked on here. So this is selected. Redefine paragraph staff from selection. Redefine. So this new screen will pop up. So I want to keep the name as heading one. Um, that's a shortcut for those of you who like using shortcuts. <laughs> Save all formatting, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't mess with any of this stuff. You can if you want to. This is the important part on this box. So the next style. So after you have typed in this heading and you hit enter, what is the next style that's going to pop up? And right now it is none which is just that Palatino size 13 that is the default. But if we come in here, you can see these are all of the styles that we currently have. So if when I am typing in heading one and I press enter and I want heading two to pop up, I'll do that. So set that for heading two. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be updated throughout the project. Good. Wonderful. So anything in your entire project that is designated as heading one is going to change to look like this. So now when we press, so watch up here, I'm in here right now and I'm going to hit enter and boom, it changed to heading two. So this is heading two. Two through here, it's alchemy, it's 13. So this is 36, I think it's 13, a little bit smaller. So let's go into heading two. 
find it. And the next style, this one's going to be none. So when I enter this down, it's going to be no style. Here we go. If none of these over here are working for you, you can make a new one. And just like everywhere else in Scrivener, plus sign down here. And this one, usually there's a minus sign you see, but this one has a little cogwheel. So I'll put the drop down and it's just a whole bunch of extra this stuff, which we we're not gonna talk about right now. But before I add something, I wanna have it selected on a type of style I want. So this is gonna be times. 12 because that's how I am and then the indentation up here is important as well because that will get lumped in with the paragraph style so make sure that it's indented the way you want it to be so this is that half an inch good and then it realigns all the way over to the left good okay so I'm selected in here plus and I title mine normal because that's how I am I don't change any of this stuff like I said Next style is going to be this style because it's not added yet, so it's not in here, but you can change it to say this style. So every time I'm just in my manuscript typing, 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 it goes back to the style so it will stay quote normal. Okay, so you see normal up here, enter down, and it stays normal. Oh goodness, it's early. Can you tell I can't type? Okay. The way that I like to have my paragraph starts, my chapter starts set up is that my paragraphs are flush on the left, the very first paragraph. So let me change this one for there. And then I'm going to add another style. And I change it to, I call it normal start. Next style, normal. Okay. So I'm in normal start, I am typing, and then I hit enter, it changes to normal. So it indents over, and up here we can see that it's normal. So this is normal, and so I'm going to change this to the caption. So it looks a little bit different. So if I'm selected on to normal, and I click this select style range, so you can see um, that these three lines in a row are all the normals. This one breaks it up so it doesn't include this one because this is normal. So it will only count the ones that are in a row. So if you want to see what your style is or if you want to do big changes to all of your style, um, you just come down here, select style range, and it will select all the ones that are in a row. Now, if you want to do all of them, select all style, and there we go. So now it has grabbed this one, even though there's something breaking it up. So let's say we want to change all of our normal to um, blue. We want to make them all blue. So you come select all style, and then you can come up here, change everything to blue. So it's all blue now. So normal. So we're going to change, I added in more normal, normal typing, more, okay. So let's make this italic, let's make this italic, and while we're selected it with the italic, select similar formatting, and within the same paragraph, everything that's italicized or bolded or whatever you have selected to find is going to pop up. So if you want to, within one paragraph, make all of your italics um, smaller, you can do that with this instead of having to go through and manually um, highlight all of them and find them all. So that's the select similar formatting option. So this is kind of the same as before, redefine paragraph style from selection. And we saw that up here, it's redefine. So it's the same thing, it's just in a different spot. And delete paragraph style, that's where the minus comes in right here, <laughs> which you can also do here, delete paragraph style. If you want to get fancy with it, you can change your keyboard shortcut. I, like I said, I don't really use shortcuts that much, so I don't, um, but if that's what you're into, that, right click, that's where you find it. 
So continue down with this menu. Some. So redefining character style from selection. Okay, so this is editing Sophia, um, just to clear up what the character styles does. So if you fold that and then click on this, um, the add button for a new style, um, go to save character attributes. And since I had bolded that thing and highlighted it, so we'll change this to bold, okay. And then that shows up in here. So that's that. The last part of this is something that I don't really use, but we'll talk about it, import styles. So if you have a different project that you have all set up and it's all nice and you have styles from that and you love it, then you can go and select it from there. So this is a project that I have in here. Um, it's just regular, I'm not going to mess with too much, but if I wanted to, click on it and then this is the import button down here and then it would import all of the stuff that's in this particular project but it's nothing special so I'm not going to but just so you know that's there so um, never fear if you have set up a project and you love the way it's set up and you start a new one you don't have to redo everything by hand you can import all the styles from that original project that's it friends that is all we're going to talk about the styles so paragraph and character styles we're all done <laughs> thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope you learned something new if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe and wash your hands black lives matter have a nice day